Hi children, today I'm going to read to you from the book called Never Stop Wondering. The first page, as you can see, has a dedication on it, but it also asks the questions. I would rather have questions that can't be answered than answers that can't be questioned. That is a quote from Richard Feynman. Never stop wondering. Never stop questioning. Never stop trying to figure things out. Always keep searching. Always keep asking. That's what science is all about. Do you remember what a shooting star really is? Remember, we, I showed it to you in science class. When one is young, the questions come fast. The how, why, who, what and when. But as some people grow, the questions don't flow in their minds like they did way back then. Why do rainbows form? What makes a plane fly? How do magnets work? When some turn into adults, the aim of their thoughts is no longer to learn how, why or who. They become busy with lots and the wondering stops. Don't let that happen to you. Why do whales sing? The great thinkers through time kept their wondering minds fixed on questions of cause and effect. Some never outgrow the desire to know how all the pieces connect. And here you can see they show you Sir Isaac Newton, who was a physicist and mathematician, Dr. May Jeminson, who was an astronaut, and Dr. Sylvia Earle, who is an oceanographer. So study the world, look for changes and patterns, and try to predict what comes next. Ask why things happen. Then test your ideas and persist with the ones that perplex. What is a fossil? Do you know what this fossil is of? Why does this happen? Try it out yourself. Just some food coloring. Cut a piece of celery stalk in half. Notice the structure and the function of objects in nature and human design. Calculate scale, proportion and quantity like length, size, distance and time. So which track do you think will travel the furthest? Why? Often you'll have more questions than answers and it's okay to say, I don't know. Take time to delight in and savour the wonder and think of the next route you'll go. What do you think this is? If you find you're out you're wrong, don't get discouraged and whatever you do, don't give up. Celebrate what you've learned. Try another idea. Keep your eyes, ears and mind opened up. What do you think a spider does when his web is demolished? Just run away? Each day brings new questions and new explorations. Each day brand new facts are discovered. Ideas begin forming, models take shape and they change as more evidence is uncovered. Can you name all of the planets in order from the sun? 
With some questions, it's easy to look up the answers. Because someone once asked and found out. Other questions you might be the first one to think of and the first one to wonder about. What do you think is the name of this reptile that you can see both that can see both backwards and forwards at the same time? You'll see that the most compelling of questions keeps your mind occupied. But it may be a surprise to also find out that your heart and your soul are long for the ride. The sky on the deck chair, here, deck chair here is wondering about all of these seagulls flying here. He is wondering how it gets lift, how it gets the thrust going forwards, the gravity of the bird and the drag on the feathers. You'll see, science isn't dull, boring or dry. It's exciting, fun and inspiring. There's delight in the mystery, satisfaction in knowing, and joy with each new discovery. Over the years, the great questions of science have fueled the strongest of passions, from discovering pie, to learning to fly, to inventing the newest contraptions. Look at this picture. Do you think this plane would fly? We'll never learn all there is to know about how this world of ours works, but each new discovery is a piece of the puzzle from planets to atoms to quarks. Quark? Oh, there you are. That's what a quark is. I had to look that up. Just because someone says it or writes it doesn't always mean that it's true. Before you buy in, before you accept it, look for the facts that prove it to you. How do you know that the earth is not flat? Can you prove it? It's okay to doubt as you figure it out. Don't instantly believe something's true. Go to the sources you know that you can trust, the ones that have been reviewed. Here are the, an, a list of academic search engines. Google Scholar. Google Scholar is the clear number one when it comes to academic search engines. However, there's also Microsoft Academic. It's Microsoft's answer to Google Scholar. Then there's Base, Core, Science.gov, Semantic Scholar, and Baidu Scholar. Also look at peer-reviewed journals and books from credible publishers like Scholastic. You might meet some folks who have all of the answers, but that's just an act, just for show. The key to science and true understanding is realizing how much we don't know. The more you learn, the more questions you'll have, and that's just all part of the fun. Learn all you can, and soon you'll discover the work of science will never be done. Over here it says, lightning never strikes the same place twice. That is a myth. Here it says, people get warts from frogs and toads. Ah, a myth. Humans can't grow new brain cells. Once again, a myth. Bats can't see. That is a myth. It takes seven years to digest gum if you swallow. Nope, a myth. And the last one here, climate change isn't happening. A myth. Life will always give us 
questions to answer and problems we have to resolve. And the quest will continue as the answers we find lead to more mysteries to solve. How do stars know only to come out at night? How do hurricanes know it is hurricane season? Around 80% of the ocean remains unexplored. What do you think they will find next under the ocean? Never stop wondering who, where, when, why, how. Just remember, keep wondering. Remember, keep questioning. Remember, keep trying to figure things out. What do you wonder? What do you question? What do you want to find out? Never stop wondering. Never stop questioning. Never stop trying to figure things out. Always keep searching. Always keep asking. That's what science is all about. So experiment. Have fun. Do you have any questions? that you are wondering about, email me through Canvas or Teams and let me know. Perhaps I can answer it. Questions are the path to learning. Bye everyone.